You know, this is a rear choke hold, and I've actually seen people try to teach women, as, as my partner here demonstrates, from using the arm, grabbing the arm with this hand for a choke. Now, the idea is to stomp the foot and to elbow into the chest or the rib cage, turning your head this and that way. Unfortunately, the thing that's missing is the actual choke itself. Go ahead and choke me. It's choking me hard now. You can't turn left and you can't turn right. Because when the person's got a chokehold on you, they have it tight. You can even try to dig your hands in here if you want and, and pull back. You can ram, you can hit, pull back, push it down as hard as you can. It will flex the neck muscles in this area, create a little pocket to protect your abs up. Drop your chin down as far as you can and let yourself drop, pushing your hips in to your opponent. Or there's going to be a struggle. And that struggle, when he grabs me, is so hard, he's going to shake me like a rag doll. And what I'm going to have to do is try to flex. So when he goes one direction, I go with him. But I, I flex. And you try to peel it apart. Because if you turn your chin to the left or to the right, you are not going to be able to maneuver. You're going to limit your maneuvering ability. What I suggest, put your chin down as hard as you can and let yourself go forward. And try to push your butt in this way, like this. Nobody is just going to grab you, stand here like this, and then you're going to be able to do all these marvelous techniques. See? I'm not going to stand there and let you do it. Trapping legs is essential for controlling your balance. You have to look closely to the lower torso. Notice the placement of the feet and the arc within the knees. To stay in close to your attacker, depending on the situation, shuts off their plan of attack. At least with my experience, shutting down one leg makes it difficult to re-establish another attack or regain balance. But you have to be willing to jump into the eye of the storm that they create for you. You must commit totally to emotion. These are the basic moves that allow you to feel for proper distribution of weight associated with the four components. Those four components, one arcing, two recoil, two shielding, and four flexion, which is the ultimate goal to reach. One second is enough to make an appropriate adjustment to another motion. In Hanshido, motions are not preconceived techniques, they just happen. 